What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop, where today we're gonna touch on that whole release issue again. Uh, we just did a video, you saw those three different types of releases and how they create different motions. But now we're gonna touch on when and where to use those different releases out on the lanes. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we talked about different releases, and today we're gonna to talk about even more releases than what I showed you there, because we're gonna eliminate that suitcase release. We're past that point where suitcase release is really something you're never gonna need um, because you're developing some of these newer releases, or at least you should be trying to. So I'm gonna show you the, the first one, which is that one o'clock firm wrist release. And this is what you would see out of a release like that. And I'll show you exactly what happens when I play straighter with that release and then when I move left with it as well. So you can see how straight and clean through the front part of the lane that that ball goes. Uh, and it kind of controls the pattern. It gives you a nice steady roll. Doesn't overreact, doesn't do anything crazy. But if I try to use that release when I'm further in, let's call it, so I'll move my feet just 12 left. Try to throw it a little bit right. And I'm gonna miss the head. Pick. It just doesn't have enough get up. It doesn't have enough side rotation or any touch to it to get it back to the head. Pick. So obviously that release, that one o'clock release is gonna be much better for you playing straighter. All right, so you're gonna be controlling or you can tighten your angles up. So you can do something like this. From that same part of the lane, I just missed the head pin. I'll just move my eyes to the left. See if I can't control the pocket. Yeah, and even see there, you still can't get it to come up from that spot. So that's just not gonna be a very, a very good release for you know trying to play further left. You're gonna wanna stay straighter with that type of a release. So as we move left, we obviously have to change our release. Um, but what if we get stuck in between where we go over here, we'll move five left and target about three left. Now, if I use that same release again, it's not gonna hook from this area. No, it did, just not what you wanna see. So now we're stuck. If I go with a stronger release in this area, now what? So it'll overhook in that spot. If I go with the, the second release, which would be more like uh, that nine o'clock three o'clock, nine o'clock, whatever you want to call it, where your hand gets around the side of it a little bit more. See, so that's the difference there. So the one gets to the pocket, but it, you know, flat tightens, and then that one overhooks. So now it forces our angles to the left. So obviously we have to use the stronger release that we just had a little bit more towards the middle of the lane. So as we are, Inside, some, we can use this stronger release. To create what we want right there, okay? So you can obviously see a big difference out of the way I was releasing it playing straighter to there. So you start getting your fingers to line up at about that nine o'clock or 10 o'clock range. Um, and you can get the ball to pick up the lane quite a bit more. But if I do that same release again from further left, it's not gonna be strong enough to get there. So I have to change my release again. This is that same release. It's still not strong enough to get there. Even though it's better, you can see it make its motion compared to the straight release. I still have to adjust my release even more. So now all I'm gonna think about is trying to get my hand more to the outside of the ball quicker. So still that nine o'clock release, but I'm gonna rotate my hand just a little bit more. 
to get it to hook that much more in that middle part of the line. Now it'll hook. Much, much more. So you're just talking about different releases here to try to get you to play the certain parts of the lane. So obviously the more you get your hand around the ball, the better off you're gonna be playing further in. The least amount of around the ball, you're gonna to wanna to play straighter. Because if I take that release I just did there and try to play straighter, got no chance by doing that. 